morning, February 11th. And they took knowledge of them, that they had been with Jesus. Acts 4, 13. A Christian should be a striking likeness of Jesus Christ. You have read Lives of Christ, beautifully and eloquently written, but the best life of Christ is his living biography, written out in the words and actions of his people. If we were what we profess to be, and what we should be, we should be pictures of Christ, yea, such striking likenesses of him, that the world would not have to hold us up by the hour together, and say, well, it seems somewhat of a likeness, but they would, when they once beheld us, exclaim, he has been with Jesus, he has been taught of him, he is like him, he has caught the very idea of the holy man of Nazareth, and he works it out in his life and everyday actions. A Christian should be like Christ in his boldness. Never blush to own your religion, your profession will never disgrace you, take care you never disgrace that. Be like Jesus, very valiant for your God. Imitate him in your loving spirit, think kindly, speak kindly, and do kindly, that men may say of you, he has been with Jesus. Imitate Jesus in his holiness. Was he zealous for his master? So be you, ever go about doing good. Let not time be wasted, it is too precious. Was he self-denying, never looking to his own interest? Be the same. Was he devout? Be you fervent in your prayers. Had he deference to his father's will? So submit yourselves to him. Was he patient? So learn to endure. And best of all, as the highest portraiture of Jesus, try to forgive your enemies, as he did, and let those sublime words of your master, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do, always ring in your ears. Forgive, as you hope to be forgiven. Heap coals of fear on the head of your foe by your kindness to him. Good for evil, recollect, is godlike? Be godlike then, and in all ways and by all means, so live that all may say of you, he has been with Jesus.